Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. We're going to be taking a look at some Matchbox. Um, we have a bunch of cars here, some neat ones here. This card is super janky, but it should be an interesting video. So, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm not really going to... No, I think I'm going to keep the card art on some of these. Yeah, some of them I do, some of them I don't. I've mentioned that before. This one card is completely destroyed, but I got it for a dollar. It's from 1983. Yeah. Uh, just says Super Porsche Racer. I don't know, but let's rip that open. And hopefully, it's in okay condition. It appears to be. Should have suspension. Yep, it does. Like I said, when I saw this for a dollar, I was definitely going to hop on that. It's on the front there. For its age, yeah, this thing's awesome. Let's see that. Can't be bad about that one. Uh, I... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep the card art on these, just main lines. Um, when it comes to Matchbox, how I collect Matchbox is I generally get every single um, license tooling. It's because they're so cheap anyways. Is there a dollar? Who cares? And they release a case, what, every two months I think it is or something like that. So if it cost me... 10 bucks or something every couple of months. It's really not a big deal. I only got this one because it's Moon Eyes. I thought, well, see the shape. I don't scoop that for a dollar because I probably regret it if I don't scoop it now. This one, the next one, I should have actually said that one is there. So this one is a Freightliner. The next one. Freightliner, not the craziest, nicest tooling ever, but again, it is a licensed tooling. It is a Freightliner, and it's really only a dollar, so said, why not? This next one is a CHP, CHP Explorer, and this one, it just everybody's been after it I guess and I could not find it and I finally found it the other day and I definitely had to scoop it because that's that's pretty cool so yeah if I find more of these I'm probably going to end up scooping a couple of them just because they are a little bit harder to find and everybody's been scooping them up here oh, all right so for that's it for basics so oh sorry I, there's actually one more. This is a just super impressive WRX. I'm hoping it's a year. Appears to be a Hawkeye. Actually, what year did this come out? Uh, to, uh, 2013. 2013. This came out. Just a generic. Leap some? Yeah, just a generic Maxbox Police. Wow, that's a lot of metallic, but neat tooling. Okay, my buddy hooked me up with this. I traded him for just a random car I got in that um, green light collection that I didn't really want. He said, take a car, so I might take a Subaru. But let's get into the more interesting stuff. Um, what shall we start with? I guess, let me see if I can zoom out here. Rearrange just a little bit. Mm. Eh, whatever, good enough. Um, since I live in Canada, um, I believe I mentioned before, uh, cars are not necessarily the easiest things to find here. I don't really get what happens. Um, there will be a matchbox mix and it will show up here no problem. And then the next Matchbox mi match box mix will just 
not show up in Canada. I, I don't really know why, but um, some of these, yeah, they just didn't show up to Canada, or maybe they did in certain areas, not in other areas. I don't know. But I could never find any of these. And my buddy hooked them up with a good price. So I definitely had to grab those because I'm trying to get all the well because a lot of the new super fast is, is pretty cool and i don't think any of them are really bad um so this is the skyline this one i just couldn't find it it's never showed up uh in my local area here in ontario oh, it's a nice one to get off the list i think i paid five dollars each for these Canadian, of course. Um, so that's definitely a score. And of course, the, mat the matchbox. The bo box that comes with it. Keep those, those are nice. Um, this 63 Chevy pickup, C10, whatever it is. I don't even know. I can't read the bottom of it. Um, Everybody's after these, and I did, again, this one never showed up as well. Um, I've been hunting and trying to find it, but it just never shows up. Really happy to finally scoop this one off, uh, check this one off the list. And... That paint's really nice. Oh, I didn't even... It's pretty cool detail. Should say there's no opening parts on this one. There is a yep opening hood on that. Not bad detail. Yep, shit's nice. Rubber tires, plastic base. I love that. That's awesome. I believe there is a not a super fast, but an opening parts. Um, one of this coming soon. I can't remember. I saw it online. Uh, next up is the 66A100. Um, I wasn't collecting at the time when this, this older Matchbox came out. I've only been collecting for really two years. Um, so I was not around when this one came out. But, uh, I believe... I have every standard release now of the A100. So that is nice to find. Again, I only paid like five bucks for these, so it was really nothing. Some weird tires. It's a pretty cool one. Not too bad. All right. Uh, let's look at this one. This is a 89 Blazer. I have so many videos to make still. Uh, it's kind of crazy. It's madness in, in my diecast room right now. Um, I can't get this open. Trying to space out all the green light videos because that way it's not just green light videos that I'll be uploading. We like to see diversity. Why is this one not coming apart? Nope. Sitting cars flying. Blazer. I love this tooling. It's pretty big, but this reminds me of the uh, Stranger Things one, uh, Blazer. Rubber tires, all that good stuff. It's kind of odd. There's like a little piece sticking out there. Nobody parts. Nope. Does have a little bit of detail there. Not bad, not bad. Does this top come off? No, it doesn't figure as much. Not bad. Um, and lastly, we have this Volkswagen. 
which no, I don't have it on me. Um, they just released, I don't know how many mixes ago it was. It was th this year for sure. It was the red Volkswagen Beetle that looks very similar to this one. But the difference being this one, um, well, it's full of tampos, but uh, it has a chrome base. I believe that's the only big difference. If you look at these, these are very similar. Oh, it's got that too. I didn't even notice that. Um, these are very similar to the other release this year. Nice to see a chrome base. It really, really helps this car. Whereas, you know, they do the gray bases and stuff on the newer stuff, which is okay. But I get why they have that. There's that. I believe that is it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Take a look at the, uh, the links below for my Instagram and my Facebook page. Again, thank you guys for watching.